Hey there everyone, welcome back to Cortec again. I am Hemant Kumar, a social media strategist and data scientist at Cortec ID Solutions. Today we are going to look at how to build a website using AI, especially black box. We can go with ChatGPT and others too, but today I want to go with black box. So I'm going to show you how to build a website quickly. Let's get started. First and foremost, you need to go to the black box AI. Just go to this website and just log in with your account. Okay. Now I'm going to ask it, uh, I'm going to give it a prompt, how to generate a website. If you want to know more about AI prompts and how to use them, you can go and watch our video on top five AI prompts for you. So now this is my question, generate a code for an e-commerce website using HTML CSS. This is my question. So let's see how it will generate a code for us. As you can see, it already gave us some of the uh, blogs and YouTube videos how to do it, but we are not going to do that. We are going to use the tool and make it easier for us. As you can see, it is generating the code for us. So while it is generating, let's go and open our VS Code terminal. Now create an index index.html file. Since HTML files are necessary, you know, for the building the website, especially index. Now it is generating, just wait for some time, okay? Now finally, it has generated the final code for us. As you can see, HTML code is completed. CSS code is also completed. In addition, it also gave us a JS code for us. It's not necessary. As for us right now, what we are trying to build, now let's just copy paste this in our VS Code terminal. Now I'm just copy pasting it, saving on low. Let's see what is the CSS. Okay, it gives style.css. Let's create style.css file. Okay, now we are also going to copy paste the CSS code over here. I'm copying it and I'm just pasting it. Done. Now this is ready. Let's go and click go live and see how our code is. As you can see, this is an e-commerce website using AI. I didn't do anything. I didn't type any code. That's what it gave me. As far as I know, it looks good. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Like we just copy paste it, right? Now I'm going, I don't like this product one and product two. I want to generate something else. So for that, we are going to ask another prompt. But before that, let's go and see an example website. What we want to do. So I'm going into this website and I got an idea. I want to build a website for these courses, like displaying these courses. They are simply just gave it a name, but I want to make it even better. I want to display it with an image using cards, just like this, as you can see product. I'm going to make these courses in this format. Let's see how to do that. I'm going to give a prompt over here, like add cards here for the following courses. Also add a course section for them in header section. The courses are, I'm going to display all the courses, but before that I need to enter the HTML code over here. So let's just copy this HTML code and simply paste it above before giving it. And also let's give us, let's give it the CSS code also to copy this. Okay, maybe let's wait on the CSS code over here. Okay, uh, we'll just ask it. The courses are, we have to simply come here. Let's copy paste all these courses. Okay, I'm copying these courses. Uh, I'm just coming over here and just pasting these are the courses that I gave it to you. Let's see how the code will be for this. So it did not give me the code that I wanted. Uh, what gave me it was it gave me just a list of these codes. So the output is like this. So yeah, it's messed up. Let's make it better. Okay, I'm going to ask it again. So yeah, I asked it again and again it gave me the list. But also this time around it has replaced the code like it has replaced the products with actual courses that I asked it to. So as you can see at the top, I have given the prompt like replace the product section with these courses, remove product one and others. As you can see the prompt over here, you can simply copy paste it or you can type it. Now let's look at our code. Uh, is it completed? No, it's still not. So if you get something like this, just click on continue. That means your code is not completed yet. Now finally the code is completed. Now all we have to do as always, just copy paste it. We still haven't completed the CSS code. We'll also go for that. Now, I don't want this list over here. Okay. In the header section, I don't want this list. I just want the, this one, the courses. Other than that, I don't want this. So we are going to remove this. Okay. Now I have removed that code. Now it looks, it looks fine, I guess. Uh, let's go and see, check our output, how it is. As you can see, this is it. We still haven't added the CSS code for that. Now we are going to ask it again to update our CSS code, but also 
I already told you there is something else that you can do with this. Click on this VS Code extension. You can actually get a VS Code extension to it and use it directly over there. Click on install, open Visual Studio. It will open for you. Now I'll simply install this. You can simply install Blackbox extension and use it over here. Uh, I'll show you. See, it is installed. Click on this. Blackbox AI code chat. As you can see, your code is open for you. Okay. Now what we'll do is first click on new chat and new chat will be open for you. Now just give this this prompt. Okay. This is the HTML code. So I gave it as this is the HTML code. Now, as you can see, I have copy pasted the HTML and CSS code. I asked it to replace it according to what I want and make it look professional. Okay. Now let's enter it. So it's, as you can see, you don't need to go for the Google either. You can simply put your black box as your at your right side and left side your code and you can simply do it. This is much easier than what you are doing like because shifting the tabs, it, this is much easier, right? As you can see, it seems it has completed the code, but I still feel something is missing. Let's, uh, let's check the output first. So let's just replace it. Okay. Okay, it has replaced the code it seems. Now let's go and check our output if it is successfully replaced or not. Uh, as you can see, it has successfully replaced and ignore the numbers over here, the dollar signs and okay. So now what we are missing is here, the images. Let's go and add our images. I've already downloaded them. I already told you, right? I've already downloaded the images, like only four of them. As you can see, C++, embedded system, software development, and etc. I'm going to add these images over here. How to do that? I'll show you guys. Okay, come here, images source. If you don't know how to find, just click on Control H and click on source and enter it as you can see it will display all these sources over here okay all you have to do is come here okay the images over here you have to replace it click on the slash it will show you images enter and you can choose the image that you want but this one is web development right so i'm going to choose web okay now save it i'll forward this okay i'll only show you three let's see if it actually changes or not as you can see it has successfully changed now this website looks good okay welcome to e-commerce website explore our collection okay now come here as you can see web development detail now this is much better than what it is displayed over here right you don't know what exactly that is but it looks but this one it looks professional right so there is an error here it seems we can just we can simply go and change it it's an homework for you and now i have replaced the images for the three of them right if you are trying to do this code, replace images for all of them. The website will look even much better. Okay. So that's how you build an e-commerce website using AI as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. That's it for the video. Like, comment, share and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to make more videos on how to make websites using AI and other AI tools and other AI videos too. So subscribe for more content like this. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.